kick you off for 2019. And I first just want to thank Scott because one of the things that he did was he opened up the invitation of the Holy Spirit to my presentation. And it's not often where I speak at an event where the president will say to me, however the Lord leads you, however the Holy Spirit leads you. And I thought, this is my group. Why am I excited? I'm excited to be able to share. And what the Lord really placed upon my heart was his vision for you in 2019. What does that look like? Where is he going to be taking you? And, you know, what season are you entering into? And so I'm so excited to be able to start there and be able to really go through the whole cusp of what this looks like and then to have you fellowship with one another at the fellowship chamber <laughs> in different tables where you have different areas of interest. So let's begin. Let me turn to my presentation and we will get started. Oh, okay. Oh, Okay, fantastic. I brought my trusty clicker, which I've shared amongst many of my students over the years. The verse that the Lord gave me is Proverbs 29:18, where there is no vision, the people perish. I thought, wow, oh, you know, it wasn't goals that He gave me. It wasn't, you know, anything along that line. It was vision. And so I thought, okay, Lord, you're really wanting your people to have a vision this year. And then as Ken spoke about, the word of knowledge that the Lord gave me was invitation. But this year, the Lord is extending an invitation. And one of the things that he had me pray into was that each and every person that's here this morning is called here by the Holy Spirit. Because he wants to extend an invitation to you to be able to step out of the boat with whatever petitions have been on your heart, whatever thing the Holy Spirit has been giving you, to be able to step out and move forward. So what a delightful message to be a part of. So as part of this, I'm going to start, and of course, I start my classes at Jessup with worship and with prayer. And part of the reason I do this is I was hired by Linda Somersville many years ago, and I had never taught incorporating biblical principles with faith. And Linda said to me, you know, Aaron, make it your own and do what the Lord leads you with. And so I grew up with a music ministry my whole life. I started singing in church at six years old, so I had that as part of my background. So I incorporate hymns. I incorporate the story behind the hymn as well. And of course, the Lord gave me the classic hymn up there, <laughs> Be Thou My Vision. So we'll be listening to that. And as we listen to this hymn, I just want to encourage everyone to just take a moment and really see what the Holy Spirit is laying on your heart. Just be open to that, because he's really going to give you that vision. That's what today is about. Then I'll talk to you a little bit about my testimony and God's vision for you, the prophetic word that the Lord had placed on my heart to deliver to you today. And then also, we'll be breaking out into breakout sessions where you'll get to connect with one another with your specific passions, talk to people who have done what you're interested in doing, or maybe you have and share, and make some divine connections today as well, hopefully, as the Lord leads. So let's get started. So Lord, we just ask for you to show up, Lord. We ask for your divine inspiration today, Lord, for the paths that you've called us to be, for your vision for us for 2019, Father God. We lay it all at your feet. We thank you for all the resources that you've given us, Father God, and we just ask that you make it clear as we move forward towards your will and your way. And Father God, I ask for your Holy Spirit just to equip me as the speaker today, Lord, just help me to continue what you call. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Okay, so that song is actually an 8th century Irish prayer, which of course I delighted in because my name means Ireland. <laughs> so I thought, you know, this, there's these reoccurring themes, but really, you know, be my vision, the petition of your heart. Be thou my vision, Lord. What is that? What is it that you're calling me to? 
So this is one of the things that came out. One of the things that I do as part of being a professor is share a lot of visual images of Bible verses. So I have Habakkuk 2.3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak. It will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So sometimes the vision, kind of, it's hard to see, right? Sometimes it's like, Lord, are you really leading me down this path? Is that what you're calling me to? And sometimes it's like, Lord, I just don't feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be right now. Sometimes it's like, where I'm at, I'm not sure, you know, with the leadership, that's really Christ-centered. So there's a lot of things that happen where sometimes we have to wait on the Lord. My testimony and my vision, so I love some of you said, as the Holy Spirit leads, because my father's picture was not in the different handout, because I did the handout yesterday. I had printed it out. My father's picture was not in the handout. But this morning, when I made sure my flash drive was ready to go, the Lord said, you need to add your father in to your testimony. Because it's a primary reason of who you are and how you teach. So of course, I was a kid, and I added my dad in. So let me share. This is my vision for 2019 that the Lord had me craft. God has called me to be a teacher and help people discover their their joy and share it with others. And Nehemiah 8.10 is my Bible verse inspiration. The joy of the Lord is my strength. And that's really, that's really the cusp of what the Lord's called me to and what I do. Here is my group of MBA students that just graduated, and they all are able to put MBA behind their names. So these are kingdom-based entrepreneurs. There is one of them in the room right here. Todd, if I get to kind of, right. <laughs> he actually took this. So this is one of the pictures from his studio, and this is our group. This is my dad when he was admitted to practice at the Supreme Court of the state of California. And this is my family. My husband, Daniel, who's in the teacher credential program at Jessa, which Dr. Cooper is part of. So <laughs> say hi. And then this is my daughter, Leah and Elizabeth. So my testimony is part of who I am. My father was a very successful attorney. He had his own firm, and when he was 36 years old, he came down with multiple sclerosis. And so my mother had to go back to work. She worked three jobs. I was his main caretaker, starting at the age of six. It was hard. It was very difficult. And I didn't really have a childhood because I took care of my dad, and he was completely paralyzed could not move from the neck down. So, you know, for 10 years, from about 6 to 15 until he went into a convalescent hospital, I cared for him. I would pick him up off the floor when I came home from school. It was difficult. But what the Lord showed me with this is you are, your legacy that you came from is a mighty testimony. Because my father never lost the vision for God in his life. And although he didn't, he lost what the world had said was so accomplished and successful, at the end of his life, because he could speak several different languages, he was ministering to the Russian nurses that took care of him, reading the Russian Bible to them. Because God's vision had changed for him. It wasn't a worldly vision that he got all the acclaim for when he was younger. But it was the kingdom vision. And that is my legacy. And so that's why he's right there in the middle. And he also taught me to be open to that. And so in my own life, being an attorney and realizing this is not the road that the Lord wants me to go down. <laughs> this is not what he's called me to. And just surrendering it all to him. The Lord said, my vision for you is to teach. It's not to practice law. So I had to be open to reroute what that vision looked And I'm so pleased that I did. Because now I'm able to teach, I'm able to inspire, I'm able to connect, and the Lord has equipped me in a divine way. So part of what 
we're going to do today, too, is talk about your vision. 2019. The prophetic word that the Lord had given me for each and every person that's here, that's called here today, is that this year is a year for invitation. A word of knowledge is invitation. God is extending an invitation to you. The Lord wants you to step forward, get out of the boat with the petition of your heart. What is that? Is that leadership? Is that teaching? Is that prayer? Is that discipleship? Is that mentoring? What does it look like for each and every person? And I want to encourage some of you. The Lord told me, he said, the people that are coming, they are highly resourced. They're well connected. They have the means. They have the education. These are kingdom people, kingdom based. So the Lord said to me, he said, these are my people that can take it to the next level. And I invite them in 2019 to be able to take it to the next level. The Holy Spirit has placed that petition on your heart. You may not have wanted to step out in it. <laughs> right, so? It's okay. Because you know what? The beauty of God is that today, He wants you to fellowship. He wants you to be in a safe environment. He wants you to be around other people who have that same divine calling so that you can network as the Lord leads. So you can divinely move out in what he's called us to do as the body of Christ, to be relational, to be connected, to be uplifted, to be supported in what he's called us to do. So no longer are we going to have the enemy say, no, you can't write that book. No, you can't start that new business. No, nobody likes you in that different organization. No, we bind that right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we release the Holy Spirit to put the right and proper vision in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. That's what today is about. And I'm really encouraged. You know, the vision takes time. You have to kind of chew on it. Sometimes it doesn't really manifest completely. I knew what my verse was because the Lord had given it to me, the joy. Everybody had always said, you inspire, you light the fire, <laughs> you get me to want to finish school, <laughs> whatever it might be. So I've always known that that really was my passion. But really knowing, what is it? Well, I, I love to help other people figure out what's that joy, what's that passion. Share it with other people. So this is the year. I encourage you to think about that invitation. The vision, you know, the vision, and on here it says, the place God calls you to in 2019 is the place where your deep gladness, your joy, and the world's deep hunger meet. They come together. What is that? What's your passion? What drives you? What gives you energy? Where do you see kingdom impact being made? That's what the Lord's calling you to in 2019. Now, this is, this is the calling, but, but this is really what the Lord is saying to me. Because each and every one of you is so well-resourced, the Lord has blessed you in a mighty way, you have the ability to use this calling and to help people through God's kingdom purposes. So it is a beautiful invitation, and it's a wonderful thing to be able to do. Writing a personal vision, that takes time. I'm, Scott and I talked about this. This might be another segment. I don't know what, what the Lord's doing, but you know, the, if, you have, if you want some resources to how to put together that vision, let me know, or we might do a workshop on that down the road. But this is basically just sitting with the Lord. What are those different skills, abilities? Ask other people. Ask your wise counsel. What do you see me as? What are some of my strengths? Um, and that's really one of the ways. Seek the Lord, and he will show up. He will show you. So it's my delight to turn this over to our tables. We have a few different selections here. Uh, these are basically organized by the passions as you enter the door today that the Lord really placed on your heart. So I just encourage you to be able to share. Uh, and I have Colossians 3.12 on here. Therefore, as God's chosen people, God loves you. He has blessed you. You are chosen. You are chosen and, and you are dearly loved to him. Holy and dearly loved, clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. So I extend this invitation to you today 
And as the Lord leads, here's a few different things on here for you to step out into, but these are the different categories. Leadership with Christ-centered stewardship. So what, how that looks, if it's financial, environmental, otherwise, teaching, mentoring, discipleship, knowledge of the Bible, studying, writing, kingdom, entrepreneurship, marketplace business, and prayer. So different types, intercessory, etc. So this is the overview. Feel free to introduce yourself to your table, discuss your specific passion, and as the Lord leads you in the experiences that you have in this area or where you feel the Lord is calling you to, and as he leads you to make divine connections. It's my pleasure. Let's let the Lord and the Holy Spirit do what he does best. And I'm sure each one of you has different stories that you can share for maybe a later date. Uh, but thank you so much. Thank you very much for inviting me to be here today. And I'm just delighted. And I will be praying for you and what, for what the Lord has placed on your heart for God's vision for 2019. All right.